Hello. Uh, this is Richard Bruce, uh, and what you are looking at here uh, is my five and a half uh, gallon aquarium. Uh, I keep this aquarium without, pretty much without electricity. There's no heater, uh, no filters, uh, no lights. Uh, the uh, plants are plastic, and um, the fish have been around for quite a while. There are about ten of them in there, and uh, a good portion of them have been that, uh, in my fish bowls and uh, my tanks for the last eight months, and quite ha healthy. Um, one of the reasons I do this is because it's sort of an experiment in ecology. Uh, the uh, fish bowl is really the most ecological pet since the pet rock. Uh, have a couple, a um, two dollar uh, little tin of uh, fish food you buy every eh, four months or something like that, uh, and. Uh, uh, that's uh, basically all you need in the way of consumables. Um, this idea of moving beyond a fishbowl to, say, a five and a half gallon tank or a ten gallon tank is often uh, recommended. A five and a half gallon tank uh, is cheaper than a two and a half gallon tank and cheaper than a fish uh, two gallon fishbowl. Uh, and also. Uh, the 10 gallon tank is a bit cheaper than the five and a half gallon tank. Uh, it's uh, sort of a reversal uh, thing there. Uh, but usually when they sort of recommend that you go for the more expensive, uh, the uh, bigger but less expensive tank, uh, then they will tell you, oh, oh, wait a minute, you need the filter, you need the heater, you need the lights, you need this, you need that, and so on and so forth. And uh, of course, if you add all those things, and then in addition to your monthly uh, bill, uh, both there is the issue of damage to the environment for all that electricity and uh, the amount of electricity necessary to run a traditional aquarium is uh, significant. Um, but also uh, there is uh, the, uh, uh, the extra expense. Uh, but this is uh, me sort of taking that old suggestion and actually instituting it. Uh, the fish in this aquarium, as I say, they're about 10. Uh, there are two blind cave tets. Uh, there are three black skirt tetras, and you won't see that much of them. They tend to uh, hide, but maybe they'll come up, come out. Uh, there are three go golden china barbs, and there are two fancy guppies. Uh, the um, uh, temperature is approximately 70 degrees. Uh, there's plenty of room in there at 70 degrees. Quite frankly, at 80 degrees, uh, there's not enough room in there. Uh, I had to take uh, some of these uh, fish out uh, when they started reaching 80 degrees uh, uh, in the summer just a, a few weeks ago uh, and put them someplace else. Okay, uh, these fish uh, typically often, uh, not really right now so much, but uh, during the summer, they were going through about a 10 degree temperature uh, variation every uh, day. Um, and by the way, I should mention uh, with these unheated bowls, the bowl tends to be about two degrees uh, cooler than the um, uh, the uh, room temperature because of the effects of uh, the evaporation. So um, I guess that will do for now. Um, Oh, I might also mention that in these bowls, the two-gallon bowls that I have, or maybe a gallon and a half, given that I don't fill them up, uh, and uh, also my two-and-a-half-gallon tank, uh, in addition to keeping a lot of fish alive and uh, basically little trouble, especially after you get through uh, any uh, initial disease that comes in from the fish stores, um, you know, they, they, they live at least until they reach a reasonably ripe old age. Um, and then the, um, um, they also do breed. Uh, and I am currently, uh, uh, I've got catfish eggs and am breeding uh, guppies and trying to uh, breed um, um, a Florida flagfish, uh, American flagfish that is. Uh, so trying to breed various things. Uh, the, the guppies are successfully breeding the catfish. I've got fertilized eggs, it looks like, this time, so I should be getting catfish uh, soon. Uh, and I'm, my catfish are on the third generation. 
Uh, I've bred two generations. I'm trying to breed the fourth generation now. Uh, all of these, you know, bread and bowls. Okay, uh, that tells you something about what I'm uh, up to uh, with this uh, tank. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, this is Richard Bruce. Uh, you can uh, check in the links to the other videos and also my website on the subject.